Dunedin's rodeo events have attracted criticism recently from animal rights group SAFE. This week, the group's Dunedin volunteer coordinator called on the City Council to follow the Auckland City Council's lead and ban rodeos outright on council land. Carl Scott from SAFE joins us to explain. Good evening, Carl. Hi, Rebecca. Now, first of all, can you tell us why you object to rodeos? The bottom line and, and the simple answer is um, the animals in rodeos suffer. Um, they're subjected to treatment that um, causes a lot of fear, stress, uh, on occasion they get injured, sometimes some serious injuries. You've got to try and see it from the animal's point of view. Um, they're in a strange environment, they don't understand what, they don't understand, it's just a game. It's very real to them. Um, you've got bright lights, loud noises, pyrotechnics, they're surrounded by thousands of people. They're being pushed into these confined spaces. And a lot, a lot of people don't realise that these animals are not normally, not wild animals, they wouldn't normally buck. They have this thing fitted around their back end called a flank strap or a bucking strap and just as the gate opens and they rush out into the arena, the strap's pulled up tight causing um, major discomfort, even pain, and that's what makes them buck. Um, the thing is the cowboys have a choice that animals don't and we think that's unacceptable, especially for such a trivial reason as we see it as entertainment or sport. What sort of action are you after from the DCC? We would like them to ban rodeos on public land, as Auckland City Council have done, and, and other people around the world. Um, we think they can, and um, working with Dunedin Venues Management Limited, the council does have a say on what they can and can't do, and we'd like to see that happen. Hmm. Are there any other places in the world where rodeos are banned? Yes, quite a few. Um, it's completely banned in the UK and other EU countries. Uh, parts of Australia, Canada and the US have banned rodeos or set limitations uh, and other parts of the world too. Now you did get some support from councillors at the forum that you addressed. What, uh, how confident are you that, that they will follow through? Yep. Um, Councillor Fliss Butcher openly stated she's behind me on this. Others seem to be nodding and, and getting what I was saying. Uh, I think we won't know until they actually have a vote, of course, but um, I'm, th I'm feeling reasonably confident. I think the public of Dunedin, there'll be more people who want it banned than want it kept. Um, I would like people to email Dave Cull, our mayor, uh, mayor at dcc.govt.nz, and tell them we don't want them. I think if they hear from enough people, they'll, they'll get it and they'll, they'll ban them. Now, an opinion piece uh, that you wrote last year was rebutted by a United States rodeo announcer who thinks that the animals are well cared for. What was your response to that? All I can say is I think they've got a very different idea of what caring about animals means than, uh, than we have. Um, you see, I can, uh, to some extent I can understand their perspective. Um, I think when you work with animals in an exploitative setting, you sort of become a bit desensitised. Now, I can say that because I used to be a freezing worker. Um, and you just sort of switch off and you stop seeing them as the individuals that they are and just start seeing them as objects. They are intelligent, emotional, social beings, just like us. We are animals. And I don't think people in rodeos quite understand the level of their intelligence um, that they, and, and what the animals are really experiencing. Now, you spent 31 days in a cage last year to protest the treatment of hens. What other projects have you got in the pipeline? Well, it was actually a couple of years ago. Last year, our big um, project was we, um, I assisted with the blockade of mainland poultry, the egg farm in Waikawaiti. Um, my friend Debbie Matthews has made a documentary about the blockade, and we're hoping to screen that in April or May this year and give a bit of a public talk. Um, the other project I'm trying to find time to focus on is I'm writing a script for a documentary myself uh, about New Zealand and our relationship, humans and other animals. That's, that's the main project I'm trying to find time to work on. Carl Scott from SAFE, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.